Looking out at some awesome uh, views here in Jasper National Park. That's the Athabasca River there, which comes out of the Columbia Ice Field. Um, that's looking south towards Banff National Park, Canada. That is a glacially fed uh, river there, so it is very chilly. So this video is titled, Coming Consciously Into the Moment. And it's really, you know, sort of one of the just fundamental things along the spiritual path is that of recognizing your own power and responsibility for your own mental state and how you can affect that mental state through the conscious intentions of your, uh, of your mind and of your will. And, um, you know, so often we are just kind of dragged around by our thoughts as if they aren't even ours, as if, you know, there's some, you know, wild beasts, you know, pulling us here and there and, and uh, distracting us from finding our peace in the moment. Um, but that is not the case. Our thoughts are manifestations of our, of our own being, and we, uh, we can come into mastery of them. And so that's really, you know, the sort of, the whole point of meditation is to, is to quiet the thoughts, to come into, you know, uh, greater control of your mind, and, uh, and thus to find peace of mind. And so just, you know, recognizing that reality that, that um, yes, we're all being pulled around by these, you know, worries and anxieties and frustrations and, and feelings and and it doesn't have to be that way we don't have to constantly be thinking about this thing that happened in the past and this thing that may or may not happen in the future and and uh you know there's plenty of time in the day to think about these things at certain times but most of us are really being pulled around by this stuff kind of non-stop um and so just recognizing the power that you have to, um, you know, take control of your mind. So I just thought that I would throw a little uh, suggestion out there, which is um, to write down in a journal or on a piece of paper or whatever, everything that's bothering you. So, you know, everything you're worrying about in the future, everything that you're stuck thinking about in the past, um, you know, Everything you're angry about, everything you're, you're uh, you know, worrying about, frustrated about, etc. Write those things down in order to get them out of your head and um, get some perspective on them. Write them down and then you can, you can forget about them for a moment because you've got them written down. You can, you can come back and then pick up on worrying about all that stuff later. Um, write it down, close the journal and then meditate and and just uh you know seize the power of your of your mind and understand that you can the present moment has so much potential and possibility um beyond just being here there is so much within us that is unaccessed and um, i'll tell a quick little story that i've told before but um when i was a teenager when i was in high school then uh i had this um, photography class in which I didn't really need uh, to get a good grade in this class because it was an elective. I didn't need it to graduate. This was my uh, last semester, my senior year of, year of high school. And so there was this um, dark room that wasn't used because there was a crack in it. And so there was just a little bit of light. It was just a small little dark room for changing film. And so I started going into this dark room and the whole class pretty much, then I would sit, sit in this dark room and meditate. And I hadn't even you know, read about meditation, I don't think. I mean, I probably had sort of come across it. But I was just, you know, intrigued with the concept of exploring my, my, my own mind, that there was, you know, um, sort of just like tunnels and caves and rooms and, and you know, all these different thoughts and past experiences and it just to, uh, you know, sort of this fascination with, with just going into my own consciousness. And so this is one of the, you know, purposes of meditation is is just to explore your own mind and find out what's in there instead of always being distracted by tv and and society and your work and and all the things that you're worrying and thinking about and and everything um is to 
you know, make that conscious intention to go deeper within yourself and find what's in there so that you can work with it and align with it and transform transform it and take responsibility for it and in so doing you know change and evolve and grow your own consciousness which is that's that's what the spiritual path is all about so just a few thoughts there I'm almost tempted to take a swim in that water. I even have my towel and uh, shorts, but it's pretty damn cold and the sun could go behind a cloud there any, any second. Probably won't happen, but sounds nice. All right, take care. Have a great weekend.